I am Vazgen Arseni and I am from Armenia and uh, I represent Direct Prince Ministries in uh, Armenia, Georgia, Turkey, Iran and Northern Caucasus for uh, eight years. Just a short uh, story, uh, I recently got a phone call uh, from a middle-aged man. So he called me, his voice was very depressed and uh, without any greeting, without any saying hello, he just asked me a question uh, in a depressed voice tone. He said, if I make a suicide, am I going to hell? I said, sure you will go, well, but uh, who are you? And he said, no, I just want to know this answer. I said, yes, you will go to hell, don't do that. Then uh, I started to talk uh, to him. It appeared that he's, he was a taxi driver and he was very depressed by his circumstances and financial uh, um, uh, life. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, he was so tired of his life that he, he wanted to make a suicide. He had those thoughts every time. And uh, the day when he decided to make it, he had a, a passenger, so a young lady, and uh, she, uh, she was a believer, and she was uh, one of our readers, and she had a small booklet by Derek Prince, Exchange at the Cross. So she felt in her heart just to uh, leave that small booklet in that taxi, and she left it, and uh, suddenly when that man decided to make a suicide he notized that small booklet in his car so uh, he uh, he was interested and because uh, on the on the cover of that uh, brochure there was a there is a cross so it interested him so he started to read then he found my phone number in the back cover of the booklet and he called me and immediately he was saved. Uh, sometimes you can think uh, this is a, just a piece of paper, what can it do? It cannot make difference, but uh, in other hand we have a uh, whole life, a uh, personality and the, the life of taxi driver and a piece of paper and uh, from this story we can see how a piece of paper, just a small brochure can save a life of a of a depressed man so this very impressive and it gave me a picture how Dirk's books can impact people's lives and change and make difference we have many challenges in our uh, region because uh, as you heard that we have many conflicts national conflicts and uh, terrorism uh, we have challenges so one of the challenges is to impact those nations and to prepare to be disciples of Jesus Christ. We can see the move of God also in my region. That's why I'm challenged to, uh, to do my best to reach out and reach and teach uh, untaught. So um, the main goal of 2015 is to make more disciples for the kingdom of God uh, because, you know, in my region we have uh, uh, many people who got saved and uh, who uh, really accept Christ as their Lord and Savior, but uh, we can see lack of discipleship. So that's why Derek's teachings are really the best tools to make disciples. And in 2015 we are just uh, getting us prepared to make more disciples through internet, and uh, through um, distributing Christian uh, literature written by Derek Prince um, uh, because people live in uh, closed countries where e uh, evangelizing is uh, forbidden that's why we work with underground churches particularly in Iran and in other countries and the main challenge is to reach out to those uh, underground churches to, uh, to help them with uh, Derek's materials and to make them disciples. Right. L living in this part of the world, we really need to be protected by your prayers. 
especially for our contacts who live in Iran and Turkey uh, in, in, uh, in dangerous areas and uh, some of them are really persecuted. Just recently one of our contacts had been arrested by the government because uh, translating their materials in their uh, native language. So I would like to ask you to first to pray for us, for our protection, for, for our families, for our trips. And the second thing, uh, we need uh, God's wisdom. Please pray that God would lead us and give us wisdom how to behave ourselves, how to work in underground world and how to keep safe and uh, unseen. On behalf of pastors and ministers in our region, I want to say thank you for your support, for your prayers, uh, for standing for us in our ministry, because you really can uh, change the situation. You can make a difference in our uh, uh, problematic region. So uh, that's why I want to encourage you, dear partner, you are shaping a new history in the Middle East, in Armenia, in Iran, in Turkey, in Georgia, Azerbaijan, and you can be one of the history shapers in our, in our region. So thank you again and God bless you all.